Okay, so in the last one, we pulled this out and got my rotating assembly here all, all ready to go. And uh, after getting the thing out, that I this was out of a you know a standing a top load washing machine, and I, I thought that this would be something that would be pretty easy. I could mount, or I could just clamp that to a post or something, and let this shaft you know go down into the post or I I, I don't I don't know. Uh, it was something I was going to figure out as I, I got you know around to that. But working on it more, I mean, the, the rotor that comes with this thing has got a captive nut, everything is plastic, and uh, the more I, I got to using it and playing with it, the less I liked this arrangement. I'm going to end up using this for something else. So what I ended up doing was going back to the, the shop and finding another washing machine that I could carefully harvest the uh, rotating assembly out of. It is cast around that thing. No wonder I couldn't press it out. And in the end, I ended up with a better stator. That other stator was aluminum. This is a copper one, uh, which I think this is going to be just a better starting point. Generally, the copper ones are liked better. I did have good results before with an aluminum one, but you know, the one that's out there right now making 700 watts whenever you know winds hit it good is copper. So we got a copper stator, the rotor to come out of the LG washer, bigger. The magnets are bigger. There's more of them, and in the end. The rotating assembly here is much, much better. This is going to give me a lot more of uh, a lot more options for for mounting it. I can build a, pl a a base coming off of the bottom here. I have holes that I can go ahead and use for for mounting locations. I just got more stuff going on here that I can use, and then on top of that. And this is how that other one out there worked. If I can get this to settle on here. Looks like maybe one of the splines is gold or something. But this worked with the other turbine that, that's out there to where I can get a longer nut. I will be able to space this out. Make sure I'm still on the screen here. I'll be able to space this out and we'll be able to mount our arms directly to the top of the rotor. And that's going to give us just the, the whole mounting of everything is going to be much, much smoother this way. Uh, I'm going to like this better. So this is our rotating assembly. This is our starting point. We're going to talk about blades now. Okay, I lied. I actually don't have all of the stuff that I need to start the blades right now. So we're going to tackle that on the next step. But I do want to see what our open voltages are because, <laughs> geez, this one's high. Uh, I want to try and find a way to use this without having to, you know, rearrange the coils. And even this is like, if I make one RPM in a second, eh, 20 volts. 
<laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous. Okay, so this drill will spin it up to about 1500 RPM. It says, uh, I expect, you know, 1300 to 1400 RPM, but we'll, we'll see what, it, where it gets. If it gets that fast outside with blades on it, something's wrong anyway. We're going to speed up slowly. Over 500 volts. So, that'll be interesting. All right, let's grab some cables down here. We're gonna find the specs table. There it is. It says that running on a 24 volt system on the 60 amp. Well, I'm gonna run right over that. 24 volts, since that's what it's set up on, I can run 37 volts to 105 volts. Hmm. That might be a stretch. Go ahead and sort out that that doesn't work. I don't know if we'll be able to get that up there to where you guys can see it. Oops, there we go. It's like, as soon as I start turning the thing, I mean, I'm making like one RPM there. Not even one RPM, that's about 30 RPM. Okay, so that doesn't work. So let's run it to, I mean, that, that's gonna take a lot of effort for it to load up. Let's try running it to my 48 volt bank. Okay. All right, so it spins freely, but there's no load on it. Let's try a little drill and see what kind of voltage we get running that out. Okay, so loaded up, that didn't work too badly. Okay, same test. We are hooked up to the 48 volt bank. You see what kind of wattage we can pull off of that. Make sure that that's let's see if I can get that. No, that made it worse. There we go. Now we can see that full display. seem that I do but we're looking at if we run it on a 48 volt circuit about 200 watts from that drill which is what I, I generally see that that drill 
pretty well maxes out at 200 to 250 watts anyway. So I think that this stator will work on a 48 volt circuit. So that's neat. Anyway, that's uh, what we've got going on now. I'm gonna try this stator. Let's get the zoom back out at 48 volts. And we're gonna come back very soon and we're gonna talk about blades. Now I'm gonna go about it the same way that I made the hub on that thing. I'm gonna take some strap. I'm gonna cut it at 120 degrees, make a little three bladed hub. And then we're gonna put some airfoils on the ends of the blades and yeah. So boring update I'm sure, but we're gonna have some more interesting stuff coming up very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.